Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on the energy of the Mercury retrograde which is in Pisces. So I'm going to be looking at how it's going to be affecting your love life, right? I'm also going to be exploring how it's affecting the individual that you are dealing with. So in essence, this tarot card reading is going to be different to what is usually offered on my channel. It is a speciality tarot card reading. During the Mercury retrograde, there's certain issues that come up. There's certain things that are activated within you during particular Mercury retrogrades. For example, the Mercury retrograde is going to be in Pisces. So there's going to be issues that are centered around from the actions that you have done in the past, as well as the actions that have been done by the person you are dealing with. So this is a very good opportunity to start healing those things and this tarot card reading is going to be giving you the direction in which you should be heading in in order to ensure that you make a proper use of this particular retrograde right So the first card that I have for you, Libra, is a card that is resonating with the energy of thought. It's a card that is resonating with silence, going within, looking for the answers to your questions. Now, Libra individuals are usually the type of individuals that, you know, they need to have a balance in their life. They need to have structure. They love the rules, right? They're the type of individuals that are also free thinking, but I feel like they have this energy about them where they don't really like to shake the boat. When this particular card comes up, it shows to me that you've been thinking about things that are most likely centered around your emotions during this period of time since the retrograde is in Pisces. And when it comes to emotions, it has to be closely related to the person that you're dealing with. So... I feel like during this period of time, there could be certain epiphanies that could be experienced and had. And when it comes to these sort of ideas and thoughts that you're experiencing during this period of time, I feel like there's moments when you sit with the silence and you allow yourself to embrace what you're really feeling and thinking. So during this time, I feel like a lot of you would be embracing, you know, the solitude, embracing who you are, embracing what you feel and what you're going through in this moment of time, which is incredibly important, especially during the Mercury retrograde, right? So the next card I have is talking about movement. It's talking about going towards a certain direction and having a certain frame of mind in order to complete the task that you have set for yourself. So it feels as if you're thinking about making a move, you're thinking about doing something during this Mercury retrograde, it is going to involve a great deal of energy, it is going to involve the investment of time and thought, and you can't just rush towards this, that's why you're taking that time out to think, and to think very carefully about whether or not you want to move in that direction, right? So I feel like your energy could be making you feel a little bit restless, because on one hand, you are thinking and sitting quietly about something. On the other hand, you, you know, are naturally thinking about moving forward in a certain direction with a certain person. And this type of forward movement, it's something that's very rapid. It's not something that you can just think of one moment and go ahead and do it, right? It feels like you have to think carefully before you actually 
go for what you want to do right now in terms of this relationship with this person. Now, the next card I'm looking at is showing to me conflict. It's showing to me the energy of one individual feeling wounded. It's showing to me the energy of someone feeling as if the other person is not seeing their point of view, not seeing their perspective, just choosing to have their cake and eat it too. And this is an energy of where one individual feels left out, feels excluded, feels like they're not being seen, they're not being heard, their feelings don't matter, nothing really matters in this situation. It feels as if you've been discarded or this individual could be feeling as if they're being discarded during this period of time. These are energies that are coming to surface. These are energies that talk and revolve around helplessness, right? You know, that void that you feel after a person has taken advantage of you or taken, grant, taken you for granted, right? It's the type of energy that shows up when you feel as if your feelings have been ignored, where you feel as if your emotions don't matter, where you feel as if, you know, uh, what you say or what you do won't have an effect upon this individual because they only see one point of view and it's not your point of view, right? Very heavy energies that come up. You know, I think of this dynamic that's playing out here and I think of the relationship between a child and a parent where a child wants the attention of a parent. And not to say that you have that sort of uh, relationship dynamic between uh, the two of you. One person could be immature, one person could be more mature, but it feels like one individual is seeking the approval of the other individual and not really getting it. It feels as if one individual is looking for the other person to give them a sense of uh, satisfaction that they've been feel have been feeling is missing from their life. I see the next energy revolving around trying to find some way, right? Perhaps even some path that will lead you towards that final destination that you're seeking, that epiphany, that sort of thing that will, you know, finally give you the happiness that you've been looking because you're looking inside for an external form of happiness, right? So this is a time where I feel like Mercury is having an effect of you, you know, turning inwards. But when you do so, you're looking for satisfaction that comes from outward pleasures, which is very unusual, very, very unusual. It feels as if your energy is uh, in the frame of mind where you don't feel like you can make yourself feel happy. You don't feel as if you can truly satisfy that part of yourself that feels missing. You feel as if someone else can do so. So you could be experiencing this during this period of time and that's why you could have been looking for approval from this individual all along. Very difficult energies. I feel like the movement that you want to embark upon the journey you want to take, you want to lead towards your freedom. You want to move rapidly in a direction of finding your freedom, of finding that sort of thing that releases you from this. Because what you're doing is very counterproductive. As we've seen here, you know, you're looking inside for something that can only be, you know, um, experienced on the outside, external pleasures. And you don't feel comfortable with making yourself feel a sense of happiness. You're trying to move towards freedom, towards empowerment. There's this energy of where there's been conflict and an uneven relationship. An uneven relationship where the balance is not properly, you know, working in the way that it should be. And that's a very difficult energy because I feel like there's something that you're running from and there's something that you're searching for inside of yourself. Something that you're running from on an external level during the Mercury retrograde, something that you've been running from for a long time. And there's something that you've been searching for inside of yourself, but you haven't been able to fully find it. That's why in terms of your love relationship with this individual, it feels as if the void you have within cannot be filled by this person, right? which is very difficult energies here, very difficult energies. And this unequal equilibrium that occurs between you and this individual, it opens up uh, this new dimension to this relationship because it feels like you're going in the direction of getting this individual to approve of you or to really validate you or make you feel a sense of comfort. But 
Every time you go towards them for that, you feel as if you're being shot down. You feel as if they're crushing your soul. So these are some very deep energies that are coming up during the Mercury retrograde in Pisces. Very heavy energies. I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies and how they are affecting you as well as the individual you're dealing with during the Mercury retrograde. The purpose of this tarot card reading is to heal you. It is a speciality reading. It's not like the other readings that are on my channel and it won't be like those, right? So when it comes to these specific energies, they only come up during a specific time, during the Mercury retrograde in Pisces. There's going to be other Mercury retrogrades that will highlight different things that come up right but when you look at these issues that you don't identify on your own because they are based on an energy level and you keep going in those cycles you invite trouble you invite difficulties whether it's going to be this individual whether it's going to be the next individual the individual after that the individual 20 years from now if you don't solve this now you're going to be sitting with this and you'll be thinking about this tarot card reading and thinking about certain things that have been mentioned during this video and wondering why didn't you fix it at that particular time okay so you can find the link in the description box below if you want a personal reading you can get it at the tarotempress.com have a wonderful day and take care